All right, y'all, so we back over here at a Aquarium and Reptile Depot, Citrus Heights, California. We're gonna finally pick up some African cichlids. I know y'all been waiting on that, so uh, let's get in there and let's get some fish. Let's see if Carter gonna let us, uh, let us rock and roll. Ain't no telling. It's a, it's a bit humid in here. Yeah, I did, bud. That's a big uh, Oranda right there. Chunky. Rain. All right, here we are. Yeah. So we got some uh, Frontosa right here. Matter of fact, let me just get on over here to the, the Frontosas are nice, huh? Yeah. No, those are trophies. Here goes the Mbunas. Some more Mbunas over here. So we're probably gonna get some peacocks. That's what I'm thinking. Some more Mbunas over here. They definitely got a nice variety. And the prices are going down as we move over. The smaller they are, the better the price is. And again, some more Mbunas right here. And then lastly, some very small in bonus. Five for seventeen ninety nine. They got the black arrow right there. We probably need to grab another one because ours jumped out. Look at it, look, man. The black arrow. Oh shit. One fifty nine. They get the they get the big peacock bass right there. Chunky. Yeah. Woo, look at you right here. Ooh. That's nice. Ooh, that's a spider care berry. Oh I need that. Oh, he got two. Oh, that's man, you oh. that's a killberry for sure. Nice. I don't know if that's a spider. It looked like the spider. Ah, oh, man, they look like they for sure not on um, Peliso. They super aggressive looking. Yeah. Man. Uh-oh. Look, babe. Yeah, Papa. Oh, no. I know my shirt. Yeah. That's cool. Ah. That's a golden... Tiger Moray. That's yeah, yeah. Look at that big. And that's cool too. What is that? Catfish? That's a bumblebee catfish. Yeah, I like these right here, but all right, let's take a look at what we came here for. Thank you, Papa. So we got three for 55. Ah, man, locking up on me. Then we got some right here. This is probably the ones we like. Look at the coloration on that one right there. I don't yeah, look nice. I really Okay, we got some more peacocks, some ultra peacocks right here, medium size. Ooh, that one's pretty. Which one? That one right there. That one's cute. And then we got some other ones right here. Wow, that one's pretty too. And then here we are. I like that one right there. Yeah, I really, yeah. You just showed me that one. And then we got, look at these. Ooh. I like that one though. Ooh, look at that one. Oh yeah, that was nice. I also like that they're light. All those, yeah, um, those are Kessel lights right there. Those are nice $500 lights right there. Each one. That's what we need on our saltwater aquariums. Man, something just hurting my eye. All right, that fan kicking up, blowing something in my eyeball. What's up? Uh huh. Man, I can't believe they got these. Oh. Man, look at these. If y'all need y'all some kill berries, I can't wait till our kill berries get like that. Right. I agree. Did you want to get that? Nope. We came here for the African cichlids. So we're going to get these Africans. We can't, let, we can't let the people down. I for sure want some, a yellow one. All right, so spot, so pick out what you what you think is good, what you what you like, what you like, what you like, what you talking about. We could get six of these right here. Get that one? Nope, no. No, I want them all to see the same size. Okay. Just makes it a lot easier. 
So we could get six of these right here. I don't think I want to do six of these. Uh, the variety isn't, you know. That one's cool, no? Yeah, that one is cool with the blue face. Okay. Mm -hmm. Carter, what you pointing that at? <laughs> cool. No? I think that's a, I don't know what kind that is. I feel like either a blood I definitely orange want the or, yellow one. Uh, so you want an orange one? You want the blue face? Orange we could get six. We get six. Color, so get six. It's all good. And did you? That one's cool. That one is probably going to be nice too. Yeah, for sure. But you see that one, no? Yeah. But the, ain't that almost the same as the other one that had the blue face? Right. Yeah. That yeah, one is cool too. This all right, one, we yeah, we gonna really we, like we gonna have to grab them. So I'm about to get in some, get in line. Come here, Pops. Come here. Yeah, Mommy's right there. Come on, Papa. Let's go this way. Oh, I, I definitely want that one right there. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking. Excuse me. Is he going to stand with you or what? Come on, Papa. <laughs> Full speed, huh? <laughs> Full speed ahead, huh? All right, I think I did see some nice ones though, so I do need to get in line now. Until this part of the video and uh, when we get home you're gonna see what we got I won't do y'all like I did y'all last time we're gonna <laughs> do it together we're gonna take him out acclimate him see you back at the fish room all right y'all so we are back at the house we're in the fish room and now take a look at this 55 gallon remember I told y'all I said I was gonna set it up add some sand in there add some rock in there well I did so I think it looks absolutely amazing it's looking cloudy because, as I just said, I added in here the sand and also the, you know, river pebbles right there. But, uh, yeah. So, let's take a look at what we just picked up from the fish store. I know y'all are waiting for that. Alright, so yeah, we got this big box full of fish and goodies. Let's take a look at what we got in here. Look at that individually so we're gonna start off with the the best thing that we got we got this mother plant this Anubius so pretty uh-huh but even more importantly it's gonna start sucking up nitrates in the water so we're gonna just drop that right into the spot right there that I made for it get in there almost get in there right there so oh, that that's great. where we don't really have anywhere to put it but yeah we could definitely get more plants but yeah so i made sure i left that spot right there for that anubias right there now i don't know i know these are assorted peacocks i know y'all will know exactly what type each of these are probably once they color up but uh nonetheless we're gonna call this one right here blue face because he got a blue face but let's just get them all in and then once they color up we can figure out names for them because right now this is looking like a pale face so we got a lot though y'all we got a lot of amazing african cichlids and i know a bunch of y'all are excited because y'all been telling me hey get some get african start an african cichlid tank get some african cichlids i know some of y'all wanted me to get haps maybe we'll get a hap or two some of the haps do look nice but right now we got these peacocks we went with peacocks because of the coloration on a lot of these peacocks like look at that one that one is that one is beautiful right there so i've been just dropping them in i won't just keep dropping them in on you i'm gonna just 
I'm gonna bring some of these up to the forefront. That's my favorite. Uh huh. We're gonna bring some of these up so you can see them. The you other did your ones. Thing, babe, with the skate. You really did your thing. Thank you, babe. Look at this one. I mean, we got some. We got some really uh, nice African cichlids. Look at that. Already looking good in there. Definitely. Look at this one. This one is really going to color up and look absolutely amazing. Already look amazing. They all look amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. Look at this one. You can't even tell. See, that's what I'm saying. You can't really. No, it's not dead. It's just real low. All right. So, y'all thought we were done. We still got some more. Look at this one. This is a nice. This one's yellow. You can't even tell. Matter of fact, no, this is the one with the with the blue on his eye. Oh, the blotchy? Uh, like the pie. Yeah, the, like the pied one. Yeah. Check out this one. Or is this? That's the one with the black oh, yeah. That one I think is the yellow one. Nonetheless, what y'all think? Let's go ahead and drop this one right in right there. Look at that. Look at that, that y'all. So you ask and you shall receive. We finally have an African cichlid tank. Now you can tell by the scaping and the plants and all that stuff, we did this the fish corner way. We like the rock work, but we love plants. And so we do want to add some more greenery, not just for the color, but mainly to help assist us with, it's looking blurry, babe, focus in. Yeah, there we go. But not just because it looks good, but we want to make sure that it's doing a job, which is removing the nitrates. That's why we didn't want to do the fake plants. The fake plants would have looked just as good, vibrant green, add a pop of color, but they're not going to remove nothing. That one will. So, and Anubias is one of the easiest plants to grow. So, uh, you know, kind of hard to kill them. So we'll add in a couple more Anubias, probably put one on this side and one more right there. Possibly, especially if we get some smaller ones so we could actually like put some on top of the rock work. Nonetheless, this is, let's take a step back. Come on, babe, I want you to come over. This thing is looking, this is going to look so good. Yeah, look at that. It's going to look so good. And if I cut off that light back there on this side, there we go. That got to be better. Is it better? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's really a nice start a really nice start we got some other some other surprise looks already turning it's already getting that yellow back Woo, look at that we already got we got some some more surprises for you in the upcoming videos so you definitely got to stay tuned so if you're new here make sure you subscribe to that channel make sure that notification bell is hit so you miss, so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos you'll be one of the first ones to be notified when the video drop and you catch it but uh so we got to let these guys acclimate we're gonna let them acclimate for about you know uh, 15 20 minutes something like that i always say it's amazing when you have freshwater fish because all you got to do is temperature acclimate them and then you could just eh, dunk them right on in there we go we need the light back but uh are y'all excited Hell yeah. i hope y'all are as well because man like i said you know a lot of y'all been asking for this and now here we are we finally got it and uh Man, this is the perfect place for it. It really is. Need to make sure that it stays looking crispy like this because if it starts getting an algae like it was last time, it's not going to look as pleasant. That's another reason why I want to do the plants. The plants will outcompete the algae for the nutrients. The main problem is this garage door constantly going up. Once we get an AC unit in this room, we won't have to raise that door up so much. But uh, anyway, I'll see you in about 15 to 20 minutes. Right, so we are back. It's been about 20 minutes and uh, we got to get these guys into their tank. Now what I plan on doing is I'm just going to open up all the bags, put it all, put them all in the one bucket right here and then scoop them out. They were all in the same aquarium. So I'm not concerned about the water. 
On top of the fact, same water now since the temperature is exactly the same. I'm gonna keep these bags because we're gonna start shipping y'all some of these fish. They looked out for us. Not intentionally, but since they separated them all, we're gonna make use of these bags, that's for sure. And the rubber bands right there. <laughs> they colored up really nicely already. Look at them. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hopefully y'all don't hear too much drilling. Carter's back there playing with his drill. So if you hear, if you hear it, that's what you hear. That's what that noise is. It's Carter with his drill. Just like daddy. So if you think this is your favorite aquarium on the channel, go ahead and uh, and drop that down in the comments. What should, what should they say if they think this is the one? So, you know what? Say this the one. <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> drop the purple emoji with the horns. Drop the little devil emoji with the horns? No, not the devil. What's the, what's the purple emoji with the horns in? That's 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 a little devil. That's what that's why it has horns. Well, I don't like the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. So that's why I was like, you know, Never just mind. just just put one. Put a hundred or something. <laughs> Drop the hundred. Drop the hundred. If you think if you think that this if this is your favorite aquarium in the fish room now, drop the hundred. But sometimes people be dropping a hundred for us anyway, just because it's showing support. So, right. you know. Got, got the point and the hundred. Nah, whatever. Nonetheless, this is definitely one of our favorites now. And it's been so long since we put plants inside the aquarium. Matter of fact, almost two years. So we got to get back to that. We love having the plants. And we want to put some plants in some other aquariums. I want to see some plants in there with albino arowana. I want to see some plants in the 150 gallon because the fish are too small to tear out the plants. It's all right, Papa. All right, so Carter's fine. We got all the fish in the bucket. All right, so now we're going to get them all out in one swift little swoop. Like I said, we're going to get them all in one go. we go come on there we go get on out here we go all right look at them y'all let me go ahead and wipe off this water they looking good they looking good the rubber bands yep get those out the way wipe that off real good all right now do your thing babe let's go ahead and get a montage for them <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. It's okay. Waffle. The light. Yeah. Waffle, waffle. Ah. <clears throat> yeah. They're, they're hiding. Yeah, they look good though. They all right there chilling. Mm -hmm. Carter, you don't have to worry about the light. It's okay. Let's put the lid back up there, the little makeshift lid. Get the light position a little bit better. Hopper, don't worry about the don't worry about the light. All right, there we go. All right, so looking good, looking good. All right, we'll be right back when, when they are coming out. 
right now they looking a little scared they're inside of their new aquarium they like where the hell am i but i'm sure in about two or three minutes they're gonna be out swimming around so we'll be right back in about two or three minutes so we can wrap up this video all right y'all so uh i guess i was a little wrong i thought they'd be out swimming about in the next two or three minutes we got to get this video out i'm trying to get this video out to you tonight hopefully it's not a lot of editing that i need to do if it's not y'all 100 will get this video within the next 30 to 45 minutes if i do have to edit it y'all still going to get it tonight but y'all probably won't get it until like 9 9 30. nonetheless i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that you learned something i hope that you're inspired by something i hope that you were entertained by something this tank looks amazing the fish are actually coming out for us so we might be able to get you some type of montage at the end of this video so make sure you stay until the end i'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow have a good night peace so we almost at 20k we almost at 20k i appreciate you all make sure you subscribe to the channel share the content help us get to that 20k also follow us over on tsd with me on tiktok and youtube that is our other channel behind the scenes you get to see all the behind the scenes content aida's in charge of that one she's been doing a wonderful job getting ahead of me so if you want to get ahead of me too you got to follow over there. But again, I appreciate you all. Let's get to that 20K. Have a good one. Peace.